Well, let's talk now to Hamid Hakimi, who is an Afghan researcher at Chatham House. Thank you for being with us. So I guess the key question today is, is there any way that we could avoid a runoff? My understanding is that all the presidential candidates have to wait for a final count and the final decision by the um, IEC as to how many percent of votes each of them have got. And before that, they're not allowed to come into any sorts of alliances. But if neither gets 50 percent, do they get on well enough to perhaps form some kind of arrangement, a possible coalition? Well, before the uh, election day, uh, my understanding is that they all talked about broad-based governments, and that's a code word for a uh, coalition uh, coming together of various candidates. Uh, they all have worked together. They have all been ministers at uh, President Karzai's government. So I don't think that they don't know each other or that they're so antagonistic that they can't come together. However, we have to wait and see uh, whether the, the alliance would deliver the sorts of outcome that they're looking for. On the whole, though, would you say the country wants to have yet another election? I mean, the last one they said was a success, but all of the security concerns, all of the risks, do most people want to go to the polls again? It's very difficult. What Afghans want is legitimacy. And if the outcome of the first round is not seen as legitimate, then my understanding is that Afghans would definitely want uh, a second round. But the challenge would be how do you conduct that and how do you ensure that you know, that is seen as legitimate and as, as, as legal. Tell me about uh, Zalmay Razul. He's got 11% at the moment, so he's not really in the game, but he could be. He could become crucial, could he not? Is, is he the man who could be the kingmaker? Well, we can draw con uh, comparisons with Liberal Democrats in the UK, but to, to, that, to that extent, I think he can be very crucial, uh, not least because he's got uh, one of the leading female candidates as a vice president, uh, which could bring in uh, a, a good sort of uh, impression on whoever forms the government. But we have to see whether he can bring in that sort of stability to whoever he brings uh, the coalition to, or whether he even wants to become a coalition partner. Because who would he favour, do you think? Very difficult to say, very difficult to say, but uh, from an external point of view, I think he is a, more of a technocrat. So I would say he is closer to as, uh, Ashraf Ghani in many ways as an individual, but as a camp, I think they have a lot of differences, and he's got differences with the uh, leading camp of Abdullah Abdullah as well. Is it true as well that he's quite influenced by President Karzai, that that would have been President Karzai's pick if he had a choice? What, 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 President Karzai hasn't said anything to that end, but... I mean, that's the impression that everybody has had. And, and certainly the debates in the media has been around uh, those sorts of uh, discussions. OK. Hamid Hakimi, thank you very much for joining us. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, we've still got another few days before we actually do find out those final results.